One of the great things about DaVinci Resolve is that it's super easy to export uh, clips, multiple clips from a single timeline as uh, separate files. Now I use this all the time when I'm creating stock video footage. I'll often uh, put all the clips from a single shoot on one timeline so that I can edit and color grade on one single timeline just for uh, simplicity in my workflow. Then what I want is to be able to export them all individually and I don't wanna do that one at a time in the deliver tab, uh, renaming each one each time and adding to the render queue. We'll just show you really quickly how to do this as individual or as export as individual files. So I've already got these images on my timeline. They're already color graded. They're ready to go. I head over to the deliver tab. I set up the way I want my videos to export. So I'm gonna throw in MP4, gonna put in HD, leave it the way the uh, frame rate's set. And this is all good for me. And uh, yeah, whatever settings you use, you put them in. Then you go to file, and this is where you make your um, adjustments here. So you hit individual clips. Then you basically put in a common uh, sort of custom name. So these were all taken at a hockey game. So I'm just gonna put in flames game. Okay, so once we put in our uh, custom name, then what you want to do is just add in a suffix. So I usually use a number, uh, just like that, and then just click a uh, unique file name, and you set it up as a prefix. Keep this add source frame count uh, to file name checked. Uh, this will make sure that when the export occurs, it doesn't rewrite over the clips that uh, are created at in advance, right? So you don't. what you don't want is for it to export one clip then to immediately overwrite it with the next individual clip. So uh, if you if you hit that, it adds, it adds this to the file name, changes it so that that doesn't happen. Then I usually put in a subfolder name as well, just because when you're, when you do use a sort of a standard uh, file suffix approach and you're uh, maybe you're, you're exporting to a single folder, they'll get mixed up. Uh, so it's good to keep it in a file file subfolder if, if that's what you're doing. And then you just, you wanna, you have some options here on adding in um, how many uh, sort of unique identifiers get attached to the image. I don't typically export that much. So uh, three is perfectly fine. Okay, so after we've got that uh, set up, uh, make sure that uh, this is clicked to uh, each clip starts at frame one assuming that you want to include the entire clip. And then the, the only thing that you really need to do is, well, you can change your max, your uh, render speed. I keep it at maximum. Just make sure that you um, have this going to a specific folder. And once you do, then uh, you can add to the render queue and uh, render those all out as separate files. Uh, you'll see here that the this is numbered as 01 and so you know each consecutive file will be numbered uh, differently. So so I think that's pretty much it. You can switch between suffix and prefix as well. Um, that's uh, preference um, but basically that's all it takes. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and uh, yeah we'll see you on the next DaVinci Resolve tutorial.